It looks like he goes in for a little bit of a charge there. Ah! Whoa, it breathes fire! It breathes fire, folks! Did not expect that. Hello everybody, Gray still plays, and we're here with a brand new side-scrolling, procedurally generated RPG style game called Kriya. Now this has been touted as something of a, I don't know, like a mating session between Terraria and Starbound. Um, basically, I, what I found is it is very, very intriguing and very addicting. It is a like highly explorable, crafting, fighting, RPG style game like the backgrounds like the environment. There's a lot to do in this game Let's go ahead and get started right away There's these crystals around here from what I found I guess they're basically like little teleportation crystals that you can use I've only played about 30 minutes of this game so far There's two modes that we have which is a fighting mode and a crafting mode that you can get to by pressing R it Says dear ambassador as you begin to settle into your duties, I am not surprised that many of our customs are strange to you. Yes, it is true that the names of the air are written on the walls of our homes, scratched into the shields of our warriors, written on talismans hung over the cradles of children. They watch over every aspect of our world. Out of, gr out of respect and gratitude to the air, my brothers and I are diligent with our offerings and ceremonies at the Great Temple. This is why I must sadly decline your invitation to the palace. For I have not the time, especially with the Feast of Sanu so near. So as you can see, there's a lot of, like, lore elements here. I don't even know what this is over here. Oh, we got some barrels here with some tonic and some ectoplasm and some ori. I'm not sure if the... If the tutorial will actually be utilized because like I said I played a little bit and I did the tutorial when I when I did that portion so I learned a little bit about the game the idea here is that in crafting gathering mode you can go ahead and change around your surroundings like how we're beating up these trees you can remove rocks and dirt and things by just kind of holding down your left mouse click button you can place things by using your right mouse click button you have two different setups uh, a first setup and a second setup where you can have like say two different types of weaponry setups or two different types of crafting setups right now We only have one We've got like this crappy wooden club a shield a fireball spell and a heal spell This heal spell is actually really really useful and We're gonna be using that probably a lot because I'm not super good at crafting it or fighting one of the things that I've noticed in this game is that and I don't know if it's like this with Terraria and Starbound just because I haven't really played that much of those you gain training points for every single thing that you do that means any exploration that you do you gain some exploration tps i guess we'll call them and for every gathering you do you get gathering tps and eventually when you get enough of these you can go ahead and spend them to get just get a whole bunch of different abilities and you can level those up so if we go over here to our t which is talents you can see here that there's all different types. Arms, which is basically your various weaponry. You have style, which is your magic. Gather, which is everything about gathering and tools and things of that nature. Crafting, obviously, for craft. And exploration. You wouldn't think, like, what does explore do? It actually does a lot of cool stuff here. We're talking, like, getting new inventory space, grabbing onto ledges... Um, dodging better, I guess. Cartography, permanently increasing the map vision by 10 meters. There's a lot of just really useful talents that I think are... I don't know how well balanced they are. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. This speep. It's not a sheep. It's a speep. As you can see, there's plenty of caves and things that you can go into. Now, if we go to C, we're going to see our crafting area. And this kind of shows, shows us the different things that we can do. The very first thing that you do want to do is you want to craft a desk. And I'm pretty sure that we don't have enough to craft this yet. You can press the I button to look at your inventory and kind of see what you have. We almost have enough lumber. What is this? Zebra street. Zebra seeds. Oh, we can use them to plant our own trees. Well, that's nice. We need feathers, oil clots, and paper. To get paper, all you need is lumber. And to get lumber, all you need is wood. So we're halfway there. Some of the things that we do have to find are these little oil guys. I don't know. They're like evil little dudes, and we have to beat the hell out of them. So, oh, there's one right now. Let's go over here. We'll use our fireball spell. You can you can block using the right mouse button. 
And we're actually taking a little bit of damage there. There we go, oil clot. We can switch on over to our healing spell and go ahead and heal ourselves all the way up. So we got one of those one of those oil clots. We just have to find some feathers. We just beat the hell out of that bird, so I think that'll work quite well. And vines... Let's see, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe, actually there's more birds, you might as well get as many feathers as we can by <laughs> beating the tar out of these birds. I believe that you can get vines underground, so let's go ahead and dig here and take a look. You can build all kinds of things with, you know, dirt and stone and stuff like that. Oop. Let's keep moving down this way, I guess. That definitely looks like vines down there, so I'm hoping that'll work if we kind of keep doing this there we go let's see oh yeah there we go that's our vines that's what we want a lot of vines i find are used for like armor and weaponry and stuff like that so i do want to grab as many of these as we can get all this delicious vinery laying about all right let's go ahead and get out of here we'll grab a little bit more wood and oh, let me get if i can get rid of this all right i guess we'll just go this way then We'll go this way then. This is curious. I think we have found a bugged tile. Um, okay, how do I want to deal with this? Actually, this isn't this is not a problem. We can actually get out this way, I do imagine. Luckily, as it is with mo with most destructible terrains. Ooh, I think we found some rock or something. Ah, stone. I'm sure that's useful as well, so I don't mind having to chop away at this stuff. Go ahead and beat all this up so that we grow our inventory. The reason that we want to make that research table is so that we can begin researching crafting um, recipes. That's basically how you do it. And man, there are a lot of crafting recipes. I would say in the first 20 minutes, I probably found, I don't even know how many of them, just a ton. Probably like 20 or 30. And those are all beginning stuff. So, um, let me get rid of this one here. There we go. Now we should be able to bust on out of here. There we are. No problem. Go ahead and switch over here to our damage dealer. Q if you want to see your little critter there. Ooh, we've got quite a few oil slimes coming at us. Ow. Getting beat by both of them. Go ahead and heal a little bit. And there's levels in here as well. You don't just gain experience by, like, beating stuff. You all Well, you gain experience by doing a little bit of everything, but you gain regular experience to which you can level and increase your stats and stuff. See, this is like a Ferrax crystal here. We need crystals to attune to this, it looks like, so we can't use it yet, but I imagine that's kind of like your teleportation throughout the game. Let's go ahead and keep getting these various vines and such. Because you never know when we will need those. Let's go and check out our crafting real quick. We have enough oil. We have enough. Okay, so all we really need is more trees. So let's go ahead and knock these trees down. Maybe this one's over here is growing enough. There we go. Yeah. Just kind of hold down on it and beat the crap out of this tree. And I guess we'll heal ourselves up too. I don't think that you, there's much natural healing in this game. So you want to kind of keep yourself. I don't know why I fired a fireball into the ground. I guess it was just looking at me wrong. You kind of want to keep yourself topped up at all times. Here we go. Research chest. Go over to lumber. We'll make the maximum that we can. Craft. Crafting's fairly simple. Uh, paper. We need six. So let's go ahead and make six of those. Craft those. So as you can see, crafting basically happens like right away. And now we can craft this research desk. Go ahead and get out of the crafting station. Open our inventory. Place down this desk nearby. You don't have to worry about placing stuff. You can grab it real quick by just holding down like you're going to beat it. But it, it doesn't it doesn't break it or anything. So you can see already we have a whole bunch of potential things that we can learn. Let's go ahead and research everything we can. To research stuff, it uses up a little bit of the item that you're researching. So you can see we just learned how to make like a bow and... Uh, there's a sword and another bow and we're learning all kinds of stuff. We want to learn all this because I'm sure that we're going to want some armor and better weapons than this Terabad club that we have. Anything has to be better than a piece of wood that you utilize to just repeatedly strike things over the cranium with. I'll take a, maybe a sharpened stick perhaps? 
Go ahead and keep learning about all these tools. You can see there's a bone metoc there. Let me just go ahead and learn that. So now we can click on craft and we can see that we can make a bone sword. Only thing that we need is a couple more bones. So we're gonna go ahead and do that for sure. You can hover over the item. It tells you exactly what it does. This has 18 power. This has 22, I believe. So it's much better. I don't think we have any wands yet. No spears. Ah, we can actually make a bow. We can make a bone bow, which is better than this vine bow. So that's quite nice. Let's check out the armor. See if we can make anything at all. A wooden barrel. That's armor? Okay. Wearing a, wearing a wooden barrel on your chest. Whatever. And a bone shield. Let's go and make this wooden barrel, I guess. There's no reason not to. Where can we wear this? Now, I haven't actually messed with the armor yet. So I don't know how you go ahead and how you go ahead and use it. Let's go ahead and pick up our what else do we have here? Is there more stuff that we can learn? Oh, there is. Wooden box, tanning rack. Holy cow. There is like a ton of stuff for us to learn. Holy cow. A forge, a novice spear, Novice Spear, Vine Wand. I'm not exactly sure what I want to be for this character, because you can really shape your character however you want. If you want to be good at magic, if you want to be good at swinging swords, if you guys have any suggestions on how you'd like to see me build a character, feel free to let me know. I'm kind of thinking of maybe being kind of paladin-ish, so maybe just being real good at healing and good at weapon swinging, maybe like just a sword style of weapon. Let's go ahead and go over here and pick this thing back up. Go over here and, oh, what did it say there? Quick equip, CTRL left click, got it. Boom, we're wearing our little barrel now. So I just have to kind of pay attention. We need more bones. So let's go find some things to beat up right there. I see a slime, actually I see a couple of slimes. There are slime generators as well that you'll find around every once in a while. Ooh. Oh, we are not using our weaponry. Go ahead and heal up real fast. There we go. Now we're getting them down there. Die, oil slime. Destroying the environment. Ooh. Let's go ahead and heal up again. We did get a bone and some more oil clots. We'll probably want to take away... Ooh. What is this? We just fell into the ground here. And I can't see anything. Okay. So one of the things we're going to want to craft real fast is a torch. Here's one right here. Let's go ahead and craft some of those. We can put those in our offhand, I do believe. So, grab one, grab two, quick equip, CTRL, left click. Uh, oh, I bet we have to use the crafting or gathering style in order to actually see this. Okay, so there we go. Oh, there's like stuff down here. Ah, very cool. There's actually quite a few things down here. Looks like there's a couple more vases. I think that's what those are. Little lithe wooden arrow. Okay, a couple of vines as well. We can always use more vines, actually. This is actually a quite a nice place to possibly get some rest. What is this down here? Is this stone or is it iron? That sounds like stone. Let's take a look. Go ahead and finish this up here. Oh, it's iron. All right, let's go ahead and grab all this. Because from what I've seen, ore is a little bit more rare than most of the most of the other resources that you'll find. I don't really find too much iron ore. Oh wow, it looks like there's even a farther a farther area underneath this area. I gotta tell you, the worlds that these games, even just little side-scrolling 2D style games, can build are really cool these days. There's just so much to see and do. I really enjoy it. Um, actually, bird, I'll take you out just so I can grab your feathers, because feathers are good. We're going to want to get the ledge grabbing ability at some point. Let's go ahead and carve a little area here so that we can step on out. Now, if you wanted to, like I said, you can also use your building abilities to put dirt piles down and build like little bridges and stuff. It looks like the only restriction is that you have to make sure that wherever you're putting the building stuff... It is, what the hell is that? A torrent? Whoa, oh, ow. All right, let's go ahead and heal up. There we go. 
Holy cow. Guy's actually pretty tough. We're going to want to use our shield. There we go. It looks like he goes in for a little bit of a charge there. Ah! Whoa! It breathes fire! It breathes fire, folks! Did not expect that. There we go. Did we finish him off finally? Ah, we got a horn and some hide. Very interesting. No doubt hide useful for various crafting elements. Oh, it looks like we're in a little bit of a snowy area now. What is that up there? Oh, it's another one of those guys. Let's heal all the way up just in case he wants to come at us. Um, no, looks like he's happy just kind of standing up there. That's not too bad. Yeah, don't come down here, buddy. Just stay wherever the hell you are. Man, I want to get a better sword. We still don't seem to have enough bones... Well, we have one bone. What else do we need? It's just... Oh, we need two bones. I got it. We have enough lumber, though, and we have plenty of vines. Um, okay, so to get more bones, how do we want to go about this? We're probably going to have to go back to where some of those slimes were. So let us start heading out that way. Going to have to just kind of dig a little bit here and there so that we can step around. And this might be a good time to show you how you can build I think I'll go ahead and do that real fast so we'll move over well actually we'll stay with the crafting area and we'll go ahead and press I um, I didn't get our inventory go over here to dirt equip this yeah right there number one that should be fine and now you can kind of you can't apparently it's not letting me do anything there we go you can make little little passages and stuff like this although I probably made it far too close to where we are so I can't even get Ooh. there we go there we go so you can see you can make little bridges with it like this and if you hold it down it'll like make it as far as you can make it so let's build a bridge over here to get us across there we are that should be good enough yeah there we go that worked out just fine and the big thing that we're looking for right now is more of those oil guys there's some right there that's exactly what we need might have to build another bridge. Um, unless they come down. I guess they're not. Alright, that's fine. We'll kind of build some steps up this way to connect this. There we are. That should be plenty good. Now, it's really hard to see right now, so... I'm kind of just hoping that I'm hitting the right area. Ooh, we just leveled up, and we got a bone. So that's excellent. We're going to easily be able to make some new equipment here. This guy's down too. Hopefully that gives us another bone. We got some oil clots, that's for sure. Crafting bone sword. Yes. Craft one of those. Excellent. All right. Looks like the sun is starting to come up too. That would be nice. Uh, where's our bone sword at? Here we go. And did we equip that? Doesn't look like we did. Where'd it go? Oh, I put it over there. I just want it over here. This wooden club is kind of crap. We'll put this in our secondary slot for right now. Let's go real quick and see what other sorts of things we can build now that we actually have some better items. Ah, a bone shield. We're definitely going to want that. That is way better than what we have. We need a couple more bones for it. How about the tools? Bone talk. A lot of bone stuff. Let's put down our research desk real fast. And see if there's any new things that we could research. I'm almost sure there's going to be. Uh, yeah, wow. We have a couple more basic items. Let's take a look at what we get for here. Uh, researching leather. Si was that Sile Chamber? That's weird. Okay. And a couple more weapons as well. I imagine maybe like a stone something. Stone arrow. All right. Very good. So stone arrow researched part of that. And for the vines, oh, we can make leaves. <laughs> That's pretty basic. Uh, okay, so we can make leaves now. Whatever. Pick this up. And there we go. So, like I said, we've only just barely scratched the surface of this game. And you can kind of see how big it is. We haven't really gone anywhere yet. And there's already plenty for us to craft, see, and fight. And oh, I haven't even shown you guys the level system yet. So, like I said, you can press Q... That will get you to the level system. Here we can increase our various stats. Like I said, it looks like some of these stats are randomized because this was not the same stats that I had when I made my other character. Feel free to let me know how you want to see my character proceed. 
attack? Do you want maybe us to specialize in some magic? That might be fun. And then we can press T to see how many different points we have in our talents. Actually, we have, we probably have enough for sword proficiency, which I definitely want to get. It increases uh, damage for swords and allows you to do attack combos. Let's go ahead and buy that right away because no matter what, I want that. Anyway, folks, let me know how you're enjoying Kriya so far. I think this is a really neat game with just a lot of open-ended exploration in it. And I know I love exploration games. And I'm hoping you guys do too. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.